What's going on YouTube? This is Garrett from Sinister Custom Concepts. Uh, today I'm going to take you inside a Project SS Blaze behind me. It's a 2007 SS Trailblazer. Uh, lays frame on 28s. And uh, that's it laid out. Let's check it out. It's got a pretty good amount of lift on it. Uh, before I lay it out again, I'll show you guys what's going on on the inside of it. All right. Uh, I just finished these shock towers. They turned out pretty badass. As long as you don't come up on that sharp ass tip, they look sick. Um, just finished all the all the link bars. Cleaned them all up. Uh, custom bent that one, the parallel bar, so he could kind of save his floor. Then we got the triangulated link on the bottom. That light is bright as hell. I tried to record this before and you just couldn't see anything, so hopefully it's not blinding the hell out of you guys. But yeah, I threw the shocks on the back uh, link bar. Everything's pretty nice and compact. And we're about to get a fuel cell in the middle area right here. And I got a couple pieces over there that have the kind of the same matching C notch in them. And I'm going to start throwing the floor in. And uh, it's going to look like the navigator. Uh, the navigator looked like that before all this tub work and sheet metal work was done. Shit was pretty much empty, you know, cut to the max. And, you know, each one of these tubs are a 25 piece tub. This shit was uh, pretty much a puzzle. And they have kind of a teardrop look to them. And it's rounded in the front and then uh, comes up and over and then straightens out in the back. And I took a 2 inch 16 gauge round tube and bent it to my tub and uh, to the to the wheel and cut out a section of it so I can get a nice curved edge to it, nice rounded edge. And I'm not sure exactly how many batteries and stuff we're throwing in the back of the blazer here, but this one's gonna have five. So I'm sure we'll throw at least a couple, two or three of them in there. And uh, here, let's lay it out. Yeah, so this is actually the first six link I've ever built by myself. Uh, learned how to weld a couple years ago and, you know, I was kind of forced to learn all this stuff and, you know, I'm pretty stoked that I did. That At this point, I love metalworking and it's come a long way. So, just wanted to give you guys a good look on the inside of this thing. I'll air it up one more time for you. Sucker is slammed and it's sitting Cali style right now. We still got to do some modifications on the front end of it to get that sucker down a little lower, you know. But shit is pretty much there. All right, let's lay it out one more time for you guys, or I mean, lift it up. And I gotta show you, you can see pretty much the, the whole setup on the inside when I lift it up, and it's a sick ass shot. So.
one of the sickest things about having these big ass wheels on it is that you can see pretty much all the link bars, shocks, all that shit on the inside of it. Uh, we got some Rancho 9000 shocks in there. There's his bag. Uh, shit's turning out pretty clean. Got a lot of work to do on the sheet metal end of it, you know, but his doors are gonna look the same as this. Uh, spent a lot of time getting all these nice curved areas in on it. Uh, here's all the stock body lines that followed in on this to keep it, you know, looking as factory as possible. Every line goes into the tub. It's just got to put this pinch line on here for the weather stripping and this one's done. So, it's a 26 inch three piece wheel in there, but enough about this one. I'm gonna get back on that in the end of the month and give you guys a better inside tour of that one. So, subscribe, check this stuff out. It's gonna be a sick ass build. It's the only Trailblazer on 28s that I've ever seen laid out like it is. And uh, I'll lay it out one more time for you guys. Alright, subscribe to the channel, watch this sucker grow, sick ass business coming at you.